This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Just when you think it's time to enjoy a relaxing weekend with no more Trump news, something gets dropped in your lap. Two stories, one of which I'm going to cover here, the next I'm going to cover in a second video. Uh, this is from the New York Times, breaking news. The January 6th committee subpoenaed top Trump advisors, ramping up its investigation. I have been talking about, I don't know for how long, about the fact that we, the way, the, the, the main manner w- that we are going to see consequences, legal consequences for Donald Trump, is if the both the Justice Department get off of their hands and do something, or if the January 6th Select Committee looking into the events of January 6th and the insurrection, the attempted overthrow of the United States government, the attempted overturning of a free and fair election. They're going to have to do something. They're going to have to stop playing nice with this fake bipartisan BS and start issuing subpoenas. Stop with the kind requests to please come and testify and tell us what you know. Issue subpoenas. Command testimony. And that is what it looks like is starting to happen. The select committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol subpoenaed four of President Donald J. Trump's closest advisors on Thursday, ramping up its scrutiny of what the former president was doing before and during the deadly riot. The subpoenas, the first the panel has issued, and this is what I'm talking about. Why are these the very first subpoenas that are issued? They need to stop with this playing nice nonsense. Issue the subpoenas. Compel, legally compel testimony. It's not going to be like it was during the Trump administration where members of the administration would go before Congress and refuse to answer using bogus uh, executive privilege. They wouldn't actually invoke uh, executive privilege. They would say, well, it's uh, I I am not going to divulge conversations I've had with the president of the United States. I'm going to invoke privilege. But the the White House has to actually invoke executive privilege. The first the panel has issued these subpoenas seek information from Mark Meadows, the former White House chief of staff, Dan Scavino, Jr., who was a deputy chief of staff, who was Donald Trump's bag boy, Donald Trump's social media guy, deputy chief of staff, the guy who used to be Donald Trump's caddy, was the deputy chief of staff. Come on. Uh, uh, who was uh, Deputy Chief of Staff, Stephen K. Bannon, Mr. Trump's former advisor, and Cash Patel, the former Pentagon Chief of Staff. The committee is demanding, finally demanding, that the four men turn over documents by October 7th and submit to depositions the following week. Quote, The select committee is investigating the facts, circumstances, and causes of the January 6th attack and issues relating to the peaceful transfer of power in order to identify and evaluate lessons learned and to recommend to the House and its relevant committees corrective laws, policies, procedures, rules, or regulations. Representative Benny Thompson, Democrat of Mississippi and chairman of the committee, wrote in a statement announcing the subpoenas. In letters transmitting the orders, the committee said it was seeking information about Mr. Trump's actions in the run-up to and during the riot. Mr. Bannon reportedly communicated with Mr. Trump on December 30th and urged him to focus his efforts on January 6th, the committee said. He also was present at a meeting at the Willard Hotel the day before the violence, when plans were discussed to try to overturn the results of the election the next day. The committee stated he was quoted as saying all hell is going to break loose tomorrow. Yesterday, I did a video about a moment on uh, Steve Bannon's show where he all but admitted that he did have a hand in organizing the January 6th insurrection, the events that took place that day. That he wanted to to end the Biden administration in the crib to cripple it while in the crib, some nonsense like that. And this is where we are. These are important individuals who need to be compelled to testify because they're not going to do it voluntarily. 
They're not going to do what's good for the country. They're not going to act in the best interest of the nation and the American people. They need to be forced legally to testify. Steve Bannon, Mark Meadows, Dan Scavino, and this Patel character, which also tells you the direction that they're going to find out what took place relative to the military and the lack of intervention on the part of the National Guard. Who were the players? Who were the decision makers? What was the timeline? What was the delay? Why was there a delay? What were the intelligence failures surrounding that day? The White House Chief of Staff will know. And these are the underlings. These are high-level underlings that they're calling first. And they will be making a grave mistake. The committee will be making a mistake if they do not subpoena Donald Trump. For the health and well-being of our republic, we need to get to the bottom of this. There needs to be consequences for Donald Trump and his underlings who had any role whatsoever in the insurrection, the attempted coup of the United States government. What do you think, though? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking part in this discussion. We've waited a long time. We've suffered through a lot to get to this point. I'd love to know what you think. You can follow me on social media. I'd love to connect with you there. You can drop me a line there. I'm at Dollamore all over the place. And if I bring you value, uh, please consider supporting my work. Uh, you can click the join button below the video, become a channel member for fewer than $2 a month, or you can head on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. That is not just for my podcast. It's also for my YouTube content. I appreciate your, your, your thoughtfulness. I appreciate your engagement with all that I do. And I appreciate your activism, being involved being interested enough in what's happening in the country to consume this content, mine and, and others. Anyway, I love you guys. I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.